What's going on guys? So today I'm going to be working on the trailer over here. I got some new lights for it, side markers. I said I was going to be changing these before my road trip and the mounts for it as well. But before we get to that, I want to thank you guys so much for subscribing to the channel, watching my videos. Because of that, I was able to get myself a new camera and I'm going to show it to you here in just a second because now with the new camera, it's going to be easier to set up for shots and take better videos and have probably better quality hopefully but you guys let me know in the comments down below throughout this video if it's better quality or sound or whatever but let me show you the new camera here I think you guys are gonna really like it alright so here it is it's a VHS camcorder Memorex SM 1200 I mean check this bad boy out this is gonna be per perfect for vlogging and for setting up all my shots nice nice solid lens on this I believe it had a sight ah, here we go here's a sight BAM right there check that out that's gonna be perfect I can okay I can't spin it around but let me hold it up here for you guys alright so there there it is you know it's it's pretty good compact I can hold it with one hand it's not too bad so yeah, I could totally take shots with this. Actually, in all seriousness, I'm actually using the can the new one right now. My old one was this guy right here. So as you can see, I was using a little Sony action camera for a lot of my videos. Let me switch to this one to show you guys my new camera really quick. All right, so here's actually the real new camera. It is a Sony as well, just because this way all the spare batteries I had for my action camera goes into this one. And this one has a flip around screen so this way I kind of know what I'm looking at when I'm facing the camera at myself and this way I know when I'm setting up my shots what I'm looking at I don't have to kind of eyeball it and this camera is 20 megapixels and all the reviews on it is pretty good it is a Sony what is it oh it's 18.2 megapixels not 20 oh well it's a cyber shot uh, 80 XD I believe yeah DX DSC HX80 so it's a good camera let me guys know down below throughout this video if you like it the sounds better the video quality is better or whatnot so let's get into the video All right, guys so we're gonna start on this back one here because this one was completely missing and I have to take the whole inside wall off of my trailer on the inside to get this wire fed through now I probably could have been able to get it pulled from the outside without taking the whole inside wall off but I made it a little bit easier myself, just grabbed the wire, and I also wanted to make sure the wire was actually there, and I've already tested it, made sure power was coming to it, so now all we got to do is install the new plate, put some little seal around it, so let's do that now, and I will check back in with you guys. Okay, so now we got the wires all hooked up. I just pushed it in there. I'm going to go plug it into the truck, turn on the lights, plug in the light, and make sure that it all works before I finish it up. All right, so I put the screw in there, clipped it all shut, because the screw is what's going to ground the light, so right now it's not going to work. And then when you ground it, or ground it, when you ground it, the lights will come on. You guys probably can't see it, but the light is on, which is awesome because I've been missing this light for a while. Well, since I bought the trailer, so we just got to get all screwed in, and I'll end up putting caulk around it. I just have gray window caulk. It's going to work just the same as anything else. Plus, this is what I had. Trailer's gray, so I don't care. It's not the prettiest thing in the world, but it works, and it functions, and that's what I needed to do, right? Exactly. So let's do that right now. So like I said, doesn't have to be pretty. This is my work trailer and I need the function and not get wet or get w water on the inside so it doesn't rot out the inside of the trailer. But this is what I'm going to leave it as. I might clean it up a little bit later on, but for now I'm happy with it. This is what I need because I'm more worried about having lights at night or down the road or whatever so people see the trailer. So I'm going to go change out all the other lights now and I'll show you all that when I'm done. It's going to be pretty much the same process as I just showed you guys now. Alright guys, so just finished up with all the lights here. And let me go around, show you, and tell, 
tell you what I've done with them. This one, there was just a loose screw, so I replaced both screws on it and the light because the light was good, but I wanted the LEDs for the main markers and because I had to switch them up anyways. And then for the side guys on the fenders, I don't know if you can tell, maybe if I shade it with my big head. There you go, you can see the light there and there. This one I replaced all three screws on it, but also the ground that was underneath was corroded and the wires hooking up to the main uh, hot wire was also corroded. So I redid the connections, cleaned it all up, made sure it was, had a good connection. These lights worked. I did not replace these. Uh, I did on the other side because they were burnt out, but I used the ones that still work, so the regular incandescent bulbs from the fronts and the back that still worked. I put them on the fenders. This guy, you guys saw me put that one on. All these lights work back here, except for this one. The turn signal doesn't work. I have to replace this one, but this one is an easy pull out, plug and play light, but for now the running light works on it. This one, same thing, I replaced it to the LED. These guys, incandescents, you can see them working here. And same thing, I had to redo the wiring on this just to clean it up and make sure it was a good connection. And then this guy right here. This guy worked, but I replaced it with an LED, so I put the orange marker on the fender over there. But I cleaned this one up, made sure it was on there nice and tight, re it so it's all nice and good. All those guys up there, they work. Can't really tell because the sun's hitting them. But all those lights work, this one works. And a little hint, uh, if you don't have like waterproof terminals or field terminals, even something I'll do, this is connector for uh, the trailer lights. I put it on the ground so the ground won't get corroded because the ground, it's you can paint it, but you're probably not gonna want to because you might mess up the ground. So I just coat it with this stuff, this way it has a good connection still, but this will help it from corroding. But also always lubricate your plugs and everything so all these lights have it all on it. Sorry about that guys, my camera just died. But anyways, long story short, I got all my lights changed, they all work. I am sweating like crazy because it is hot outside today. And it's also very humid, which is a killer. So always drink plenty of water when you're working outside. I'm gonna go get some right now, so I'm gonna end the video here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. If you didn't, go ahead and hit the dislike button. But let me know what I can improve on for next video. And remember, guys, this is the new camera, new sound, new footage, new quality. Let me know what you guys think of it. If it's improved or worse or whatever, let me know so I, I, I know because I can edit the video but it might not look the same to me as it would you guys watching. As always, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. I greatly appreciate it and I will catch you guys later. Bye.